हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट होल बॉडी वाइब्रेशन ट्रेनिंग टू डिस्कस फर्दर माय कलीग किन्नरी चेस्टा एंड आई डिड अ लिटरेचर रिव्यू एंड शॉर्ट लिस्टेड टोटल एट आर्टिकल्स व्हिच आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस हियर टुडे सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ वॉट इज होल बॉडी वाइब्रेशन ट्रेनिंग इट इज अ न्यूरोमस्क्युलर ट्रेनिंग दैट यूजेज द मेकेनिकल वाइब्रेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट फ्रिक्वेंसी टू स्टिम्युलेट द मसल एक्टिविटी इट अलाउज मसल्स टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड रिलैक्स एंड दैट्स हाउ इट इम्प्रूव इट्स फंक्शन एंड प्रोप्रोसेप्शन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फर्दर सो वेन वाइब्रेशन इज गिवन अबोव हंड्रेड हर्ट्स इट्स रियली डेंजरस फॉर हेल्थ बट वेन वी यूज लो फ्रिक्वेंसी लो एम्पलीट्यूड वाइब्रेशन दे आर रियली इफेक्टिव एंड सेफ टू ट्रीट सेवरल मस्क्यूलर स्कैलेटल कंडीशन इट इज ऑल्सो नो वन टू बी इम्प्रूव फोर्स जनरेटिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ मसल्स ऑफ लोअर लिम सो हाउ वी कैन गिव वाइब्रेशन सो for that patients need either can sit or stand on the mechanical plate and when patient is standing uh, their hip knees and ankle should be slightly bent and then uh, patient can grab the rail with both of his hand and we can uh, give vibrations uh, from the plate either horizontally or vertically talking about application part athlete is exposed to the vibration by mechanical vibrating plate uh, athlete is asked to asked to stand on the mechanical plate and uh, vibrations are transferred from feet to the body and in activates the muscles and contract and relaxes muscles uh, several times in a second when we do normal exercise it allows muscles to contract and relax uh, twice or thrice per second but uh, when we give vibration patients muscles get activated multiple times in a second which is really beneficial to treat many musculoskeletal condition uh, so talking further wbb has uh, have been shown to change systolic blood pressure and heart rate in effect to vibration it has also shown to improve muscle strength power development kinesthetic awareness range of motion and increase blood flow under the skin to discuss further about application part here i would like to discuss one study done by robin et al and they they did a study to check the effect of vibration on central and peripheral cardiovascular system so for this study they assessed peripheral skin temperature peripheral venous function blood flow velocity and blood pressure heart rate uh, while athlete was standing with 40 hertz and 1.9 mm vibration plate vibration was exposed for total 5 minutes and uh, uh, in their study they found out that there was no significant difference in the heart rate blood pressure peripheral venous uh, temp uh, venous blood flow and skin temperature but uh, they found the significant difference in the blood flow velocity which in increased from 0.5 to 1 when uh, patient was exposed to the vibration to discuss further uh, i would like to highlight one study here which was done to check the effect of whole body vibration training on female athletes having chronic ankle instability it was a randomized control trial and uh, they selected total 63 participants and all the participants were divided into three groups group a group b and group c group a and uh, b received several balance training with vibration therapy so they they performed single leg stands double leg stands and tandem stands along on vibrating plate and uh, group c was uh, in a control group and no intervention was given to them and uh, in their study with regular 6 months of protocol they used balance exercise and Uh, WPV and uh, the result showed that uh, when uh, WPV was combined with uh, balance training, it was effective in uh, female athletes having chronic uh, ankle instability. But when uh, WPV was given alone, it was not effective, and uh, it gives conflicting uh, results about the effectiveness of WPV alone. 
now i would like to discuss efficacy of wbv and for that i would like to discuss one study which was done on the athlete after scl reconstruction so for uh, this study uh, 38 volleyball and basketball players were selected who were having scl reconstruction recently and uh, they divided all the athletes in two groups intervention group and control group intervention group uh, received uh, their uh, a whole body vibration training and control group was uh, received only exercises without any vibrations so for uh, intervention group they uh, all the athletes performed their uh, knee flexion and extension exercises on the vibrating plate which was set at 2.5 amplitude and 26 hertz of frequency and they performed all of their exercises on the the vibrating plate and uh, control group just uh, did their exercises and uh, after this study they concluded that there was a significant uh, improvement in the intervention group who received their exercises with the vibration and there wasn't uh, improvement in the isokinetic strength in the athletes who performed just exercises so conclusion um, after reviewing all these studies and literature we conclude that there is a conflicting information about the reliability and efficacy of uh, wbv in uh, athletes uh, so further studies are recommended to check its reliability and validity um, that's it for today thank you let me know if you have any questions